John Tesla from Geeky Cool, and I'm here with Kevin Ken Dockery. Kevin Dockery, who is a military historian. Why don't you give us a little bit about your background, Kevin? I started out in the Army in the 70s. I served in Washington, D.C. in the Old Guard with Company A, the President's Guard. I left, went to college, got my degree in communications. I am a broadcast journalist by training. I did not work in the field because of, well, personal politics. I gradually went into writing, and I was approached by Bill Fawcett one day, who basically said, hi, you're, I heard you're available. I want you to write for me. Okay, I can be agreeable. And that went on for a while. We were working in the gaming business. And he approached me one day, he said, I have a publisher who wants to do a book on the Navy SEALs. Well, good for them. No, they want you to write, we want you to write it. Okay, they won't talk. Back and forth, back and forth. Finally, okay, you have carte blanche to do everything, including a complete work of fiction, as long as the subject matter is the Navy SEALs. Fine. I do my due diligence, research, open source, go to the Navy Historical Center, dig out the records, go through those, go to the Pentagon to get pictures. The public affairs officer, who was my escort, decided I know what I'm talking about. They ran my background in the military. I had a White House security clearance, so it was like, okay, he knows what to say and what not to say. And. I had a White House security clearance, so it was, he knows what to say, what not to say, more importantly, what not to say. How would you like to interview the head SEAL? Okay. Uh, so I sat down with uh, a Navy captain, and we basically told stories back and forth and drank coffee. How would you like to go to Bud's? I'm a little old. Yes, I will. Where's the plane? I was allowed to go into BUDS and research there. I was investigated by the SEALs on site. Yes, they will listen to people, but they wanted to know who the hell I was, and they talked to me. And then it was, hi, what do you want? We'll show you anything we can that's not classified. Through that, I later on was doing biographies. Point Man was a biography of one of the first members of SEAL Team 2, Jim Watson. I've done the only authorized biography that involved SEAL Team 6, and that was One Perfect Op with Dennis Chalker, and we had a full admiral say, do the book. I have written more about the teams than any single author out there. So I am considered the unofficial SEAL historian. I was almost the official one, and that includes like a dozen TV shows. What made you get into writing? Bill offered me a paycheck. I knew I'm a technical expert with uh, firearms. Some of my first writing was firearms. My first book was a manual on the Brown Best Model 1776 musket. Uh, the balance of it was simply I was the right person at the right place at the right time with the correct background. And it just evolved. The guys would talk to me, and they would tell, well, talk to somebody else, and we'd move along. What I have not written about the teams in basically the last 15 years, because it's classified. I won't tell classified stories, period. What made the idea of doing all the research on the SEALs so appealing to you? I could sink my teeth into it, and I am very good at research. And the more I wanted, the more I got. Okay. Any advice for up-and-coming writers? One that is, well, there's multiples. The one, you want to be a writer? Write. Hook words together. Put them in a row. If you don't do that, you can't be a writer. 
finish the book, then go back and do your rewrite. Build your voice for that story, and then you'll be able to go back and make the whole thing sound the same. Lastly, most important, do not ever break your word. If you tell them that something is off the record, it is off the record. I don't care if you find it somewhere else. Because you break your word, you will never get it back. And a personal aside, because other writers and I have argued about this, which is foolish. Do not ever get so buried in your story, in the technology of the story, that you want to tell things that shouldn't be out there. You don't, and I'm not talking about secrets. You do not want to explain how to build a bomb and then later on read about how some kid blew his hand into a bloody mist reading your book. We call it the MacGyver rule. Make something not work and then tell it. Um, do you have any more books coming out? Are you... Actually, uh, my concentration for the last several years in writing and researching has been DockeryArmory.com, which Bill Fawcett was the driving force for. It was taking all my research, all my photographs, and all my connections over the last, oh God, 47 years, and uh, putting it on the internet. It turned out to be the only website of its kind, which was hard to believe at the time, but it is very detailed, very complete. Thank you for a few minutes of your time, Kevin. This has been very informative and enjoyable. I'm glad to do it.